Nyx, Nyx. Yep, I yeah. think. Yeah. Okay. And Shaman could be in a four, so absolutely. Oh. And Shaman, that actually gives you some team fight control as well, and some push, because they, they are lacking in the push as well. Like, you have a Morphling who, sure, can hit towers, but none of those other three heroes want to hit towers Ten at all. Remaining. And also, Five most of the typical remaining. heroes that people have been picking against Enigma like the Jakiro or the Grimstroke. These heroes cannot deal with Eidolons on the side of Liquid yeah. that easily. I like the Naga ban. It's like, you, you have the troll, he is going to be your carry. The Naga would just split up the map a lot like an Arc Warden would and do. Another hero that can slow down team fights. Another hero that gives you a disengage. I don't know if Liquid want to consider saying to actually be able to stop that black BKB black hole for the late game. Because they do have Morphling, which suggests, you know, it could go late game and yep. you may want the, the Bane, the Wyvern type heroes. Yeah. Wyvern. Yep, there you Good go. Call. And that does deal with Eidolons. That was something you mentioned yes, out of the support. Very so true. Level 1 Splinter Blast is typically what we see now on Wyvern over the Arctic Burn, unless you're going for like a Courier Snipe, uh, and you're a, quite a strong laner at level 1. Yep. I do like the, the late game support. Like the, I love the Doom Enigma line because they all scale so well into the late game. It's like these supports, right? So the Morphling is the overall best carry. But then you look at the supports, and it's just like, those guys are scary. Like, any of them with the uh, BKB refreshers are just insanely scary. Yeah, that's why I can understand Liquid banning out the Naga Siren. They don't yeah. want to have to deal with having to go late. Secret Arc Warns, I would, I would laugh. <laughs> uh, I don't think you can. Well, well, I guess against Nyx, it's a little bit hard. It's not terrible. It would be funny. It would be really good. No, it's way too greedy. <laughs> with an Enigma and a Doom, I just said they were, like, super greedy. So, yeah, never mind. They can't. So they need a they need a core that is not super greedy. Yeah, someone who ganks and it'll be TA. Ooh, TA it is. Huh? So she's these reasonably people, greedy. Look at these drawings. These people make some insane. Dude, they're artists. Good. Yeah, we got we got a lot of. I think the dog is printed. The yes. Meepo and well, the Morphin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I can't do that. I can barely do stick figures. Uh, the TA pick, I. I like it. It's, it's greedy in a sense. It's really greedy during the laning phase, but once you get like a Deso blink, you you take Roche, you just start running over people while your troll's gonna be farming. Has a, an important factor as well that we've been talking about, a vision. It does. Yeah. Vision yeah. and Roche. Traps Definitely. and Roche. Keeps lane shoved out, so yep. it's very annoying to play against. The lane is, we've seen more a TA against the Razor, but it's still slightly Razor favored. And still the push is not that strong from Liquid finishing off with the Wyvern, so being able to constantly cut creep waves with those traps it's going to be difficult for Liquid to finally get to a tower. I've gone first last, you know, tw two times. Let's see what you guys have to say. <laughs> oh, we have sound of going to Liquid. Miracle Morphling. Okay. Let's go, baby. Oh, okay. I'll go Secret. Nisha Troll. Yaps are lying. Let's go, baby. I'll go Secret. I just think the, the greeter supports into the late game. If it does go late game, the, the, the supporting cast of Secret, I think, is much better. Wyvern does help a little bit, but I think this TA could just up the tempo, and we could see a 25 from Secret. All right, we're going to find out what's going to happen in the third game of this uh, best of five grand finals. And we are going to find out together with Odie Pixel and Fogged. Well, game one, the Miracle Morph ended up working out pretty well against a lineup that Secret have with some, you know, clear-cut answers. Heroes that were strong against it. Secret, they've got something different. Can they beat the Morph this time? They've got the line. They've got some instant disables. I want to see if they're going to go for a quick Spirit Vessel or something on the Doom. We'll see. Let's find out. Let's get into game three. <laughs> Let's have a look. Game three, one to one at the moment here in this best of five grand finals between Team Liquid and Team Secret. The drafts are out. The final pick from Secret being that Templar Assassin. How do we feel about that? Mid one TA. This is a hero that he can pop off on. The question is, can he do it this game against Liquid's lineup? I think it's all about just setting the pace of the game and just looking to barrel over the game. I think like Grant was saying, I think they're trying to end the game at some like quick timing they're getting around just like a Roche with like your mech, you get this advantage pressed on, you take these towers. This is the objective taker. That TA with the troll, they can actually look to pressure those. The lane, we've seen the, the we've seen the TA's doing a little bit better versus the Razor. It's still Razor favorite matchup and Matu is of course a specialist on the hero but mid one has been doing some spectacular stuff so they had a great performance in the mid lane last game yeah, obviously this time as you say it's not sort of a, a clean cut advantage that you can have for this hero but 
You cannot write off the magic that Mib1 can bring in his 1v1 performances. Yeah, it can be a bit concerning if it does get to the later stages of the game. You're playing versus, sure, you have these really hard scaling heroes that can go up, but it is a Yapsor Enigma and it's Poppy playing the line. So it's not Yapsor gonna be this like Aghanim's line or anything. He's gonna be that Enigma. And there is the potential of the Morphling, of course, Miracle popping off, but he can also turn into Razor in the later stages of the game. And you look, Troll and TA, if they're both linked up, the damage is just not gonna be there for Secret in the later stages, if that is the choice that the target that he wants to be morphing into. So a lot of potential for the Morphling to turn into all these different heroes. I'll be interested to see in that sense what sort of build Matuma Man goes for, because we saw last time when that was the case, and I believe they did win the game, he goes for this very tanky build, the, the, the Crimson Guard into the Shiva's Guard, just making sure that he can stay alive, because that's all his life is, it's just making sure he can static link. Yeah, definitely a possibility in this one. Atos, not too bad either. They already have a lot of stun and setup, though, so he might not even want to go for that one. It does always give you those stats, which are great, though. Top lane. As Liquid reveal themselves from the trees, Puppy doesn't hold on to the stun, he's able to hold back GH, but GH has got the stun to follow it up afterwards. Does that block him off? Give the first blood to Miracle. <laughs> They've got to be careful. Miracle, of course, earlier in this series, getting the quad rampage to seal that first match. Secret, they've got to do everything they can to make sure it doesn't happen again. Yeah, that was Poppy who had TP'd up there as well, because they were changing their lanes. But Liquid, they get lanes that they wanted. They have a great setup here. They have this Sanking in the bottom lane doing just fine. He's even walking in to look to... Okay, my control actually has been giving two sentries. We've been seeing the teams doing this a lot now when you have Sanking, so he doesn't have to worry about the lane. He's actually going to walk in and block the Enigma's camps as you're quote-unquote offlaner. And oh my, that is a full oh, link. It is, he does have the refraction back up. A mid one. Is here. There's three heroes surrounding him. Bow strikes out. And that's a kill. Matsu getting the kill on mid one. And sees off to a great wave off the back of that there. The CS was even as it is. But now getting that kill, that, that bit of a leg up against mid one's TA. It's going to do huge things for Matuma Man in the 1v1. Yeah, definitely. He's just going to be able to put that much more pressure. And we see Miracles free farming top already, too. My control should be able to do down, fine down bottom. But Nisha is at least going to have good farm down here. We actually saw Yapsor did something different this game. We've been seeing a lot of people just pooling the ring of regen. He actually just farmed until he could get the ring of health and then gave the ring, the full ring of health to Nisha instead of having, you know, where well, you give both. You give ring of regen, then you give health. It's just a very fast ring of health on this troll. Yeah. So the sustain is very useful. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Nisha should be pretty safe down here. Absolutely. That plus nine constant HP regen means that he can stand there and take the abuse out from the Sanking without the need to, to back up and, and have to rely on purchasing a lot of re regen and sustain for himself. Yep. He's middle. trying to threaten that mid lane, just bringing a couple heroes there over there because they already solidified the top lane for Miracle. He's going to have a good time once he gets some levels versus this Doom. But this, I mean, this, is, this is normally the case, right, when you run the Enigma. You know that in the lanes, you're not going to necessarily come out top of them. You're going to do your best to not fall behind. Happy bottom. But it's going to be hard to get kills. To say that, though, because bottom, GH, he's got the spike cap. It's out in time. Nisha's holding the attacks back. Gets the first hit root. Only needs one more. Oh, the Ooh. dodge. Actually dodging the nuke. And with the fair fight, point, GH is still alive. Nisha's still trying to find it here. But mind control, another stun. Holds back the troll. And GH will be allowed to walk back to safety. Ooh, these quick little sidesteps. Nisha off the mark. Unable to get that kill. Liquid still the ones. Two kills at the moment on the board. Yeah, the Absur is being slowed down heavily though, just because of that one sentry where we were talking about. My control with that invasive play that he did, he blocked that camp. So we see the Absur only level two. The timing will not be as fast as usual. Your five minute dominator will be delayed a bit because of that camp blocked. We see the TA, we see mid one starting to recover in that matchup. Even though he's playing versus a Razor who got that early first blood, boots early on to the pressure. You get the stun, into the Hex, onto GH, Spike Carapace, but again Nisha holding off at his attacks, Mind Control, Borrow Strike, and another stun out for GH, GH trying to get back underneath the tower, they've got the range though, Secret this time will get that kill. Huh. Yep, so instead of just waiting for his camps to respawn, he's like, I'm gonna just keep at least trying to do something, actually makes an aggressive play with the Enigma, getting that uh, Malefice early on to go for a kill. Something not expected, definitely from Liquid, seeing Enigma come out of his jungle. And, oh, yep, sort of finds a very fortunate rune down bottom too for that, so. A regen rune, so continue to jungle. But that Morphling. I was gonna see. say, Secret, they've, they've gotta be a little top. aware of this. They are allowing Miracle the space to have this free farm lane. That's down oh, bottom, Puppy. Holds onto the stun there, GH tries to bait it out with the Spike Carapace. Nisha could actually have it a go at getting the kill in response. They've got the X down, and Nisha, he'll, he'll get it. Another kill onto GH, Secret. Making the kills happen. 
They're sending up for a nice little boost here to the gold of Nisha. And as we say, as, as much as the Miracle Morph is free farming down bottom, Nisha is also having a, a very nice time on this bottom lane with these kills now. Yeah, absolutely. And Zai is getting a, getting more than the Sand King in particular here. My control, he's moving around a bunch. He's having to play like a little bit more supporting while Zai, he's almost level five on this Doom. And he can actually pressure the Morphling in the lane. And these stuns, Maleficus, Kuroki. Does get up to the high ground. Then to Blast as well. A heavy bit of harassment out over to Nisha. This will push them out of the lane, make space. Or Mind Control to get back to farming down bottom. And the mid lane, 22 for 10 on Matu, 19 for 13 on mid one. Still very close, GH sticking around for a little bit to help out Matu keep that edge. That's an interesting way that these lanes are playing out. Like Zai's still just a lone top, but you see like heroes just hovering around the mid lane. Three heroes just keep rotating in and collapsing. Trying to benefit as much as they can off this first catapult wave. Puppy is there on the side if mid one does get Dover Bomb. Trying to get the Spike Carapace to bounce back the side blades. Won't happen. Stun's thrown out. And nothing else to follow as Matu with the two supports by his side. Not a target that mid one can, can move for at the moment. But yep. he will make his way back down bottom. As this bottom lane has been where Secret have been able to punish Mind Control a few times. If they have the two supports, they can run him down and provide the lockdown required for Nisha to get the kill. Yeah, that's what I mean. Zai is, that's the big win there for Secret, is that Zai is having a great time top. You can't actually pull, bully a Doom at all as a Morphling this early on. He just has way too much regen with his double devour. But now when a rotation comes in, the two supports from Liquid trying to put the pressure on. Get the Spike Carapace. Onto the Scorch there, Miracle comes in. See if they have the damage to bring him out on. They're gonna need a lot of body blocks if they want the chance to do so, but he's speedy. Zai. 40 HP regen as well. 37.2 when he eats a Tango. Yeah, has that armor as well with the phase boots complete. Yep. He's a hard, hard kill to get. And even this, the uh, toughness aura, that extra three armor that he gets from the Wild Wing, the Ripper 38, just a little bit more to be able to tank that physical damage from Morphling. That just, mid lane, I mean, d definitely despite the fact that mid one did get taken down earlier. He's out leveling him. He is. Just because of those denies, he's able to get he's so many. But here's that early pressure that we expect to see from Secret. As soon as that Dominator's finished up, that's why we see the Enigma picked up so much. He's very underleveled though. It's only level three Enigma. Usually you're like level four, four and a half, maybe even five at Sentry, this point. Sentry's down. They're gonna look to try and make the aggressive play onto mind control, but a TP comes in from G8. Secret will have to be careful. They don't have the damage to kill off the Sand King. With GH and Kuro coming in, they'll push Secret off that bottom tower. Just rotate as many heroes as possible in order to just slow down the push. You don't want this Enigma to push this down and then just take over your jungle entirely. And when they're forcing reactions like this, now Miracle has to be a bit careful. If Zai gets a surprise Doom from the tree lines, he can look for kills onto Miracle. Already level 6 up now with that phase boot and that crown. Three heroes from both teams still around this bottom lane. GH. X as Nisha cuts through the trees, trying to close the gap on the two of them. We'll get the slow out onto GH. GH, he's stunned up. The micro's there. Yapsil brings in the centaur and locks him down. Another kill for Secret on this bottom lane. Yep, they're putting pressure down bottom because they know Zai's doing great top. And Miracle's now starting to back up and actually just have to farm jungle because there's that risk of you dying. You just get caught off guard once. They might have to actually start to do some rotations, maybe try to pressure and kill this Doom so Miracle can have a home again. They're actually going to bring my control in. Yeah, that's, that looks like it's going to be the move. Try to kill this Doom. Now, all three cores banding together on this top lane to make a play on Zai. Not something you see every day here. Not three at all. Cores eight in one minutes lane, eight in. Minutes. <laughs> the three cores are coming. Zai, he's not going to know what's coming in here. He's got a lot of speed, though. Can he run his way away from this? It doesn't look like it. They've got more than enough right click. Between the heavily agi shifted morph and the static link damage sucked up by Matumba Man. But it is gets a, out of the lane. It is a three-man core rotation. It they is. want to turn it into more because it's when they're got, doing that... Yeah, it's going to be hugely efficient. Absolutely. You know that Secret's going to just split up on the map and they're going to just start to farm out as much as possible. Mid one just goes straight to jungle. They have Yapsor continue to farm on that Enigma. So you see that there is that like 2k gold lead right now for Secret for the next few moments. But they really want to get this tower off this. And it looks like they will be able to at least. And so. down bottom here, look, with the courier. Secret keeping the eyes on. Kuro chasing him down here with the Venoling. As Kuro will turn, not a lot he can do to the Courier as he has a very weak right click. As the Courier continues to sort of mock him, keep the vision upon him in the mid lane. GH run down mid one. As the damage, here's the setup there once again from these movements now. Zai getting involved up and down the map after being taken out of that top lane to strike back hard and catch Liquid off guard elsewhere. 
Miracle's gonna port bottom to try to just get some farm down here, but there's gonna be the continued pressure from Secret. Miracle does have to be careful. He doesn't just get caught by some inst instant hex when he's sitting at low HP. He might have to sit a little bit higher. He's sitting at 800, so a little bit safer here, but still can be at risk of getting chain stunned. He made one to get himself a regen. And some nice rune luck here coming out for Secret for sure. They're gonna be able to claim themselves like three of the bounties. Oh, with that many secret, they've got to be feeling pretty good about this 10 minutes of the f of the game. They they have a 3k lead. They have this draft with a Yaps or Enigma. They've, they've, and they've, they've got away with it in the landing stage. They are ahead overall as a team. Absolutely, and they're actually finding plays around the map too. They're looking to put the pressure on Kuro, but GH coming in. Let's see if they can go for Anisha. It's hard though. Puppy and Yaps are by his side, they just, they, they can't punish the troll or punish Secret for it's, being this deep in their jungle. It's such low level supports in this game, it's a level 4 lion, the Enigma now hits level 5, usually you're much higher level because you get that free jungle, but then look at the supports of Liquid too, even though they've been giving some lanes, it's a level 4 Nyx and a level 4 Wyvern as well, already at almost at the 11 minute mark. They're gonna eat their tomes to get their 6 at least one of them, but, yeah, just oh. a lot of rotations around the map, and oof, itch, careful with those side blades. And Zai, just continuing to soak up the space up top. They may have been able to take him out with that three-man, three-core gank earlier. But Zai still level eight. And level with the other two cores on secret is now bottom. They'll try for the play. Miracle dig at the shift top. As he has the strength being built up. Roots are there for Nisha. But a very hard kill to get if they do not get that disabled before he starts to build the strength back up. They're just putting the pressure on. It's actually just going to be a drum into a BKB looks like rush onto Zai. I was curious to see if maybe someone was going to go for that rush spirit vessel. I've seen teams not buying it as much uh, versus that morphling anymore though. Of course, you can play around it with your morph that one time with that one dispel, but still a very good item. We still could see them look to pick it up later on. As GH does have the vendetta now, so he is looking to make some aggressive plays, but a dire scan. Secret also has deep vision down to inside of this area, so they see the move from Liquid. Zai's having, I mean, Zai's having a blast. That Max Devour as well, so his gold's gonna keep increasing more than that of the, uh, of the Sand King that Mind Control is playing. Quiet Sand King game. First 12 minutes. Only 3 to 4. The quietest game I think we've had so far in this series. But 4k gold advantage already for Secret. Yeah, Secret just farming up the map. Every single lane in the jungle as well. Mm -hmm. They're able to move out in areas that, for now, Liquid will struggle to go without being a threat of losing their lives. Liquid has to get Kuroki level 6 in these next few moments. You see he's sapping the mid lane. It's really important to get this 6 because in these next, in these next like 3, 4 minutes you could see Secret. As soon as that Desolator is finished up on the TA, they could just look to make that move into that Roche Pits. Liquid needs to have their ultimates available to be able to set up the combo. Denied. With mid one here. In that middle lane, denying so much as well still from Kuro when he does show. Level, almost level 12 on it's, this TA. Another yeah. brilliant start from mid one in the middle lane. 12, the next highest is level 9, and that's the Morphling, who has been farming a decent amount inside that jungle. Same thing with Zai, who's also level 9, but yeah, mid one. Even though dying at that start of the game. Keep up. It's top. Liquid will look to try and go for Zai once again. The break's he's hit, so but he's, fast. he's zooming out of there. They do have the spike cap to set up for the stun. Mid one's gonna be around to help out Zai, as now they'll turn. Doom down onto Matuba Man. They should have the damage, and they do. Matu's gone, they can look for more. Puppy, the Hex, the Finger, there's two. Picked up by Secret, double kill for Mid one, and a Finger of Death buff up for Puppy as well. Zai just having this incredible mana farm. I mean, phase drums, Nyx Assassin. Sure, you have the Carapace to set up off that Scorched Earth, but still, they don't have enough damage to bring him down in him. Secret was in the area. Off that kill, they have the Deso finished out, coming on the Courier soon. They're looking to just pressure these towers. They've got the Dust from Mind Control. But a quick power strike will make his way out of there before Puppy can land the Hex. And this tower's going down. 14 minutes in, Secret. Hitting these timings with the pressure, with the lineup that they hope to do so. At the back of this draft, GH tries to move forward, but Secret won't proc the Spike Carapace. They'll back out more than safely. As it's a 7k lead now for Secret at just 14 minutes in. Four heroes farming an absolute treat on their lineup. As Yapsor, he's up there with the rest of the cores. Yeah, he's going for a straight BKB as well, even though there is the BKB uh, piercing spell, of course, from that Wyvern that he does have to worry about in the later stages. He that's the only one. If he's able to just play around, and Kuroki's still not even level 6 as well, too. He could have an early BKB, and that's still very strong. We look at Liquid's draft, and they're mostly magic damage early on still, too. It does take time for that Morphling to ramp up. 
I mean, just because he's been slowed down a little. These crawls are just so farmed on secret. Nietzsche has got his diffuser blade the complete. Already. They've got dust on GH. GH, he cannot run away from this one. He's being blocked off. World time with a stun. He's juked out by Yapsor. He's trying to escape, but the slows out from Nisha. They have their eyes upon him. He'll pop the stick charges. One more hit would do it from the troll. And there's the slow. Kill for Nisha. The troll having a very, very good start in that bottom lane has now propelled itself into place where Zai walks in, takes the bounty ring away from him, mid one, he's diving up to the high ground, he's been statically, but it doesn't matter what does it, maybe with the cold embrace, that one's got to be careful, he cannot get that physical damage off to kill him, the turbo man, and with that he gets, save, he gets the kill still, oh and my God. he's still alive, he's got, a available. he's got a TP, he's into the trees, he's out of there, they couldn't keep oh. the turbo man safe, and they could not kill mid one. What? A play by mid one, just walking in versus the Razor. He kills it, it under the shrine with three heroes. It doesn't matter, he gets called I mean, the brace. It, it felt like there was no way he was going to get away with that, but he did. Staying alive for that whole duration of the cold embrace, it didn't matter. They, they didn't. could keep Matsu alive for a little bit because they just couldn't fight for the refresh and they couldn't kill mid one quick enough. And they would think that they would kill him too because they put down the sentry ward there right with the Mel, but they didn't kill the trap even though they had that sentry ward down. So he's able to use it. He let it prime itself as well for that extra slow. They put the ward down. That's also wasted as well for the time. 10k gold advantage. 10k lead at 16 minutes in. Secret's just outmaneuvering just, all over. And the fact that all three of their cores are just uniform and farm top lane Kura having to use the curse to keep himself alive they, they but look, this they is want him. I mean this is scary when the one the two and the three all have the same amount of high level farm oh mid one's God. in a couple of hits Kura is dead secret starting to overrun liquid here in game three Nisha will be found out by the way Yatsu is going to walk in he's trying to go for the setup there will be the spike campus now come in with the black hole it's down onto the one of them onto the Timber man but Timber's still alive mind control the backup's there jumps in epicenter bar is trying for the ults out for Nisha Matu incredibly low as Nisha does get dragged in by his own ultimate GH still waiting under the cover of Invis has that vendetta hit Nisha trying to juke it around Ooh. turns back towards the Timber man but mind control has the stun locked down they do manage to get the kills on both of them Miracle as well is also able to survive a doom in the meantime in that mid lane while this, this, that whole situation is happening bottom. I think the finger as well. I think he actually survived both. And they're quick to make plays. They know the mid one's alone up top. Mind control. He's hunting him down. Straight in with the setup from the borrow strike. There's GH's follow up. The rest of Liquid coming in. They're in a 9k gold deficit, but they're hitting back hard. Mid one, he's able to walk away though. They couldn't get the rest of the team in in time. And Zai was there making sure Matsuma Man had to hold back. They'll turn towards the Doom instead, but Zai so incredibly tanky with his drums. Ogre Glove and FaZe. It is four heroes being down onto him. Can they kill him? There's the drums pop. The scorch up as well. Zai can walk away. Another curse holds him in place. But mid one Yapsu and Puppy, they are there to help out. Nisha's also come across too. Mind Control tries to lie. Attack it onto mid one with a turn. The Meld hit. Mid one claims the kill onto Mind Control. Zai will finally fall. The secret, can they look for more out of this? GH, Matsu, and Kuro are all relatively low. Stun out from the Mud Golem. They're up to the high ground. Mi Mi Miracles playing around with the supports on the back line, drawing their attention away from the rest of the team. The Spike Carapers though, they're in. Miracle, he's stunned. He's rooted. Miracle cannot escape. Another kill for Secret. As they get the Morphling, Liquid have to get the remaining members out of there. There's a trap slow towards GH. He has the Vendetta. He should be okay to get out of there. They keep in vision here with the Mug Golem. But they'll let GH be. I love how both teams are just responding every single time. Top lane, it's like the biggest thing that they can gain out of this is if they can get a big fight and turn it into Roche. But there's no bounty rune spawning. There's no towers there to claim. They're just straight up battling versus each other and matching the aggression. Love it. As even though Miracle, in the first situation in that mid lane, he survives the Doom in the finger afterwards, he, there's still ways that Secret can run him down. They do have a lot of damage, and that lockdown is still there. Lion, one of the more annoying heroes that still can be uh, chosen versus that Morphling. A puppy, trying to take a poke at GH, but it is deep on Liquid's half of the map. Mind Control responds. And get Puppy. Maybe trying for mid one as well, but the blink sound delivered. He's able to jump away from the static link. No way of breaking through the refraction on Matuma Man on his own. Still secret holding the 9k lead. Nisha on top of the defusal, a few minutes away from having a BKB. And at that so. point, it's, uh, you know, they have to get the static link. If they do not static link the troll, Nisha's gonna just run straight through the fight and tear them apart.
And it's gonna be tough for them to get to that, right? Because they have Zai, who has a full BKB on this Doom, who's already been such a nuisance. He's just gonna charge at them and force spells on him. And when he pops the BKB, yeah, those spells will be wasted. Now he's got it delivered. They're gonna go for this smoke. Fingers up also in about three seconds. They've got it all available. This is the yeah. kill somebody, go straight to that Roche pit with the TA. They've got the black hole in 20 seconds as well for Yapsil. They wanna try to get this. Off the Lincolns. Miracle starting to shift, GH has the stun, they're going to jump forward with the melt hit, but Miracle too much HP to work with, they'll look towards GH instead, slow from the defusal blade, GH is fingered and out, Puppy gets the kill. Kuro, does get a good car save, trying Beautiful. to get in the four of them, and that's going to let's go inside, mind control, follow up, jump in with the epicenter, they found Puppy as well, Misha, is there any help, Yapso does have a black hole available, he's moving in, can he close the gap, he's on top of Kuro, Malefist to follow up after the cold embrace is gone, and Kuro will die. A secret they lose two, they'll take two in return. The big kill being Liquid getting Zai, that hard to kill Doom with curses like that, Kuro will get it every time. Just absolute perfect there. Just your five position killing off of Doom, that is very nicely set up there. It's also, we're starting to see that combo, right? The reason they picked the Wyvern, sure, it's great versus the physical damage that comes out, but it's the setup as well. It allows your Sanking, your Nyx Assassin to line up to get your spells off. Dyer's middle tower. Mid one. We're gonna see some, uh, like a triple BKB timing coming out from it. Secret pretty soon. Liquid, they are still mostly magic damage, like we're mentioning. The Morphling's still gonna be able to pack that punch, but these disables are what they need in order to actually be able to stick on a target to get that physical damage. And mid one still has some time before he has it, but the other two, the Enigma and the Doom, will have that ready. And even though they are that 10k behind, in these fights, they're definitely showing that with the lineup Liquid has, they can still find these pickoffs. And it, it is not necessarily easy, even though Secret have this very large early lead. Yeah. Their heroes still do a whole lot without the need for a lot of items, Liquid's lineup. They still have this very strong Morphling, but this is the pace that Secret wants to be setting. They want to be playing very aggressive, getting that early lead so that they can get that Roche and just keep pressing it on. Don't want to take it too late versus this Morphling. Unless you have a huge advantage, then it's, you know, you'll have the, the, you know, the items to make up for the fact of the, of the matchup discrepancy. But they'll always have the lion. That's the important thing. They will always have that lion versus that morph and that long distance Lincoln's break and also just that instant disable. If Puppy's able to ever able to get an item, which probably won't happen until he gets his GPM talent. Dyer are scanning. That's liquid. Any sort of downtime as long as Miracle can keep farming. Just don't They'll be let happy. If he, if yeah. he gets that E-Blade, that's the point where they can really turn up to the fights. Kuro, if he can hit sort of two, three-man curse, Miracle can straight away get to the backlines and take one of these supports out. Ideally, even someone such as the Lion, as long as he can get rid of Puppy before Puppy gets his skill set off, it'll make the fights a whole lot easier for, for Liquid as a team. Yeah, they just still have to be careful. You see it? They, they understand that they have to be playing together because if they make a mistake and someone gets caught off in this game, the Roche can just get taken and the whole game explodes because then it's a TA with a BKB, a Blink, and they just, it just changes everything. So they're all smoked up. They're sitting behind that mid lane hoping that somebody would go on that Morphling there. But all of Secret is in the area too. We were talking about how these teams, they really just want to battle each other. Yeah, Secret have to be on guard all the time to make sure that they do not allow themselves to be caught up by the curse. It happened yes. once this game, catching four of them. You can only imagine that Secret are going to be more prepared for Kuro and his movements. Yeah, so they're going to, they always have like the traps that can be placed down to at least see in the back lines, but we've been seeing Kuroki buying uh, so many sentry wards. You look at the map right now and he's just placing them just in the lane to make sure that there's no trap to provide that vision on the back lines. They've got the Blink Dagger now, so now Secret also has a better way of initiation because they didn't really have it before. They were kind of just walking into the fights. Now this provides double ways of jumping with the TA and the Doom. As Liquid will start to feel a bit more confident to split back up and farm the side lanes. Not too far away from that mid lane though. You see, sure, the Sand King starts making his way toward top to push it, but the rest of them are sitting around that mid lane. You can see the emphasis about just Roshan. It's all about this Rosh in the next few moments. But mid one, he's got the big item, BKB. Gold, just under 50 gold away, and it'll be out. It's a big timing, yeah. Triple BKB, they can definitely look to run at Liquid as they do not have, they don't have theirs at all yet. It's found Kuro, jumping from Zai. It's Kuro, he will be left behind by the rest of his team. He does not want to use the curse. He'll only use the embrace to try and slow down. The time it takes to kill him, mid lane at the same time, GH tries to move it on to Nisha, mass TP is coming in from Secret though. Slow won't quite clip onto GH as he's able to haste his way out of there, waveform back to safety by Miracle. 
Chub Puppy also saved the finger in those last situations. He's trying to save it to go for that big target, go for one of those cores. In particular, the Morphling, just that extra burst damage. And you see a liquid, uh, liquid immediately start backing up in secret. They press their advantage when they have even one kill. As long as they have the Wyvern, they know they can at least push over to get some towers because there's no easy setup, but GH. Oh, get the courier. Hey, he's got, he's got it. it. I'll take the courier down. Did not have anything on it at the time. Maybe, maybe with in his trouble life. indeed with Midborn and Puppy. They're hunting, they've got the slow. Puppy will have a hex available so they can wait out. A spike carap has stunned him down. A cold embrace from Kuro off of the high. It doesn't matter. Not this time. That's why he had the finger saved <laughs> to deal with that sort of counter play. And Midborn, he's trying to jump in with the BKM. He's looking to commit onto Miracle. But Matu has got the static link going on the TA. So Midborn will continue to chase. But his damage getting heavily limited. Mind control. First strike down to the low ground. Midborn now getting jumped on Miracle. He pops him. That's Midborn dead on the TA. The Doom's down to the Man. But the Tumor Man, he's still so much damage here. So I will survive. Is he able to pop the BKB and get away? Cold embrace! Keep him out to alive, but he should still die as Nisha has the lockdown upon him. Mind control trying to get him with the episode, but he cannot close the gap. Now he jumps in. Winter's curse used by Kuro to hold back Nisha. Stunned from Zai. They're on top of Mind Control. Miracle turns. The Zap, he just the got He's got him. He's got the kill under the troll. They've lost two cores on secret. And now GH, the stun set up onto the Enigma. They'll get Japso as well. As these are the fights the secret's got to be careful about taking. As we're now starting to see once again, Miracle's Morphling starting to pop people. He just picked up the E-Blade. He got that early kill in the beginning of the fight, picks up the E-Blade, able to get that secondary one afterwards because of it. Playing around their shrine very nicely, not really They're stacking up. Fine Puppy as well by the looks of it as he ticks down to the vessel. Another kill for Liquid as the gold lead getting shut down that little bit that Secret had. And that was into the triple BKB that Secret just had. They were forcing that engagement, but if Yapsor wasn't able to find a good situation for a black hole, even though they were trying to find mind control, the fight got so split up that they actually lost their TA during it. It was, I mean, it was always, it was such a risky play from Midbon. Just yeah, blinking in, up in there. overconfident with the BKB. But as we said from the start of this game, if Matu gets that static link going, it doesn't matter if you're BKB or not. You're only going to be doing damage for a few seconds of the fight, and then you're pretty much useless as the TA. Yeah. And we're going to see how level, how's our level on our Morphling? He's level 18, so there's the potential. Two more levels, he gets that Morph target allies, and then he's got the double things that he has to be concerned about with those static links. He can just turn into that Razor. For now, turning into the Doom, getting a little bit extra gold, get a, a little bit of extra regen as well, that HP regen. Pretty nice for a Morphling. And they actually make their way into the pit. Seeker cannot allow this to happen. Got the Black Hole. That's the biggest sort of team fight entity that they can present. But that's only if Yaps was able to get in, and it's so hard as well with GH just keeping the vision up. They've also got a full Crimson Guard on this Sand King too, so that damage that Secret does have from their physical is going to be slowed down quite a bit. If but they want to try and contest, they've got to walk in soon. Zai jumps in, gets the song under the free of the Yapsu. BKB is he's closing the gap, goes for the beginning of the Winter's Curse. Kuro cancels the Black Hole straight away. As now Matu, the standing link going on Nisha. Nisha, he has to run. Mind Control jumps in with the episode on to Zai. Matu will die to the Underlords. He played pop from Miracle. He's taken out a second. Buyback oh comes down from Zai. They're trying to get back towards the pitch. Roshan still stands. A buyback from Kuro. As both teams keeping the fight going. Mid one. Jump in by Mike Control. Both trying to do Poppy. They got the They beat down the GAs. They get the two down onto Miracle. Miracle is dead for 70. And Final Blade on Kuro. Kuro pulled back for this. He's dead as well. And it's right in front of the Rosh. And look how low it is as well. Secret going to be able to just walk in and clean that one up easily. They get the Doom as he full shifted down to the edge. GH. He was coming over, maybe see if he can get back in, but indeed, secret, they will claim it. Get the Roche, get the Aegis. The BKB is making all the difference. It nearly looked like they'd turn it around. Kuro cancelling the black hole with that Winter's Curse through the BKB, but it didn't matter. Nisha, great disengage, was getting static link, but he gets out there in time, yep. so he doesn't lose too much. He can get back in. Mid one's able to go off, and now they're pushing the high ground. Quick series of events. These team fights are everything. And this is the timing. This is where Secret's looking to try to get a huge advantage. This Rax is exactly what they need in this game. They can't let it keep getting slowed down by this morph. Spirit Vessel up on that troll. You sure? Well, it's only like the first time. They get the goal to his head. Instantly taken away a Secret. Get the melee Rax. They get another kill on Samatu. They'll back off. They'll respect the fact that Miracle's back in the game.
But the 11k lead, Melee Rex down. This is Secret back on track. They're lined up. They've got to play from ahead, and they're hitting the timings. They continue to do so. Yeah, absolutely. And we're seeing them having, you know, we talked about five cores in the last game. Yapsor becoming that fourth core as well on top. And Matumba Man really getting slowed down in these fights. Sure, he's getting great links in most of the situations. He's getting really high links, but he doesn't have that crazy amount of farm so that he's really doing like what, what they really want him to on top. I'll catch you up, so. Okay. GH on the hunt, finds one. Same time, the puppy. He's got the hex, the finger out. The damage is there as well. They'll kill off mind control. They get a call. Only losing a support. Secret continue to maintain hold of the game. Miracle's got to be careful as he shows him mid. Yeah, so it's kind of a quarter though. <laughs> I guess he pretty much is a fourth quarter at this point. He really is. But they're trying to take advantage of that. They do have the buyback on mind control as well. If they want to try to force something, they're smoked. Looking for something here. See who they can get. Puppy would be nice, but mid one would be sweeter. Spike Cappers, but Puppy reacts straight away with the Hex. Whoa. He's gone. Can they get more? Zai on the high ground. Leaks down, goes for the rune. GH has got the opening stun. But no one else quite close enough to follow in and try and lock down Zai that furthermore. And Zai will walk away. Liquid do push Secret back off their half of the map. Small has... thing. I mean, Miracle remains on par with the farm of mid one. It's just the fact that everybody else on Liquid is that far behind. Both Mind Control and Matumba just struggling to stay on the same level as Farm as Yapsor, considering yeah. how good of a game Secret are having. Yeah, 1v5ing as a Morphling is very difficult. They still always have but the benefit. But it can be done. It can be done, but it's hard. I mean, this Troll and this TA, they do have tools to be able to deal with the Morphling as the game progresses to later on. That Troll, uh, troll level 25 is still... A, Pretty big force to be reckoned with. That battle trans strong dispel. Anytime you get locked down, you're always going to be able to get out of it. And he's also gone for the status resistant builds too. So it's still a couple levels away, but they're very strong right now as he has the full satanic finished on top too. They've also even started to get items on Puppy. We were talking about he won't get items until he gets level 15. He's got that GPM kicking in. So Glimmer Cape 2 now for this support. And he's going to continue to scale as this line too. Secret RR hunting is miracle. Shows himself in mid. The smoke, secret. And they get a wraparound. Liquid grouped up very much behind Miracle. They are prepared for this. Very hard as we've seen for Yapso to make any sort of black hole play as long as Kuro is in the back lines. They're so strong right now on the side of Secret with this, with the Aegis, with all these items picked up that they did from the last fight. 14k goes in. He's in. They found the first target. Kuro's gone. Now they do not have to worry about that curse for 40 seconds. They've got the lanes naturally pushing into mid as well as bottom. Nisha walking up toward that high ground. It's going to be hard for Liquid to push this back as just four heroes. And into the, all the potential ults of Secret. The tier three tower is taken. They're onto the barracks. They'll stun up mid one. There's the jump forward trying to play around with Nisha. But he'll continue to siege. 15 seconds and they'll be back in Yapso jumps in. The black hole. He's no going through with them. They're focusing down straight away onto the He gets the BKB off. Matsu won't be able to get away. The stun coming out there from GH will hold them down. Fingers out from Poppy though. Mind control is dead. They'll as well, the Rex on the bottom lane cleaned up by Secret as they break the base once more. Miracle trying to chase, getting that link going. static link going. It will pop. Nisha the one, but now the Doom. They've got to try and get him out of this one. He's in a lot of trouble. Puppy will be found by Mike Job and Nisha in and on top of the morphing. Cardio pressure curl will by some time for Miracle, but Miracle still do not in so much trouble. He's out, he's dead, he's gone. No buyback available for Miracle. Secret, they'll collapse into the base on top of Kuro. Kuro's out of the game without buyback as well. They're just so beefy on their three cores on this side of Secret. Even Absorb just getting the opportunity to get a black hole because the they're going for the game. They're here. going for the game. They, they know have, that they can. They can't go for top. There's just tier two. So There's no buybacks. Those tier fours, no buybacks. Only mind control and Matuma Man left alive to try and hold against the four of them. They need some ridiculous sort of four-man burrow strike, but it's not going to happen. Secret positioning themselves. Smiley Matsu will try and charge in. He can be his pop. They are on top of each. They get the static link off. Matsu trying to continue Mid to chase. There's a lot of damage from Mid-1. Matsu's dead. He's out. Mind control as well. Will slide back to safety. GH is back in eight seconds. The secret, they'll look towards the agent. Looking to finish it off. They will have a curse available in a couple. Kuro is going to be back in the game, and it actually looks like Liquid will live to see another day for now. This game won't end quite yet. But such an accumulation that Secret has gotten. 24k gold lead, so many items picked up. Level 25 already on Templar Assassin. The new level 25 TA2. We've been seeing it more often, but getting this new Bash talent, we've been seeing people pick up. It's really interesting, too, because it just, you know, it pierces those BKBs. It just catches people off guard a lot of times.
And oh, a DD rune spawns it right in front of uh, Rosh Pit with Nisha, but Rosh is still gone, so. I mean, Liquid, they've got to be breathing a, probably a small sigh of relief. They're not the greatest, they are still in, uh, still in a very tough situation. 24k net worth down, two sets of racks gone away. But being able to push them back there, that final sort of hold between the two of them, it is enough. They keep this game going, and they have another chance, Fogged. But they still, it's just so hard because of these triple BKBs. It, it really is because they can't get these disables and Secret just runs at them. They just literally just collapse on top of them. And now I believe they actually have the fourth BKB. I think Nisha also has his finish does. up. And a DD in a bottle too. Secret's going to need some miracle type of play here. If they can get a good curse, if they do, if they can get curse and then just some follow-ups before the BKBs and go has up, now got that a bleed can be the to help thing. him do that. Yeah, so yeah, that's set up. If they can get it with the follow-up afterwards from like an epicenter, they could have the damage to be able to look to bring it to Secret. But we do see Secret still backing up, looking to pick up these next few items. Yapsor is the most crucial one too for him. It's gonna be the Lincolns next. Lincolns plus BKB, no way for, Sec uh, for Liquid to actually cancel that black hole now if he does go for it. And it's finished. He's gonna be looking to end the game in style. Yep. You gotta watch out for this Enigma. Scanning. The scanning down bottom, mind control, able to push that bottom wave out pretty far. Keep it away from the base. Matumba and Mind Control just been stuck at this 11k gold for 10 minutes or so, just unable to really win any fights, just dying every single time right at the start of it. It's Poppy. He's got the setup. Mid one's there with the damage. Another seconds. finger buff for Poppy. Seven stacks now. That's a long time without the sanking now, too. They've got top pushed in. They've got that tier two as well. Roche will be will be finding about a 20 seconds for that one, but Secret, they look they can definitely just look to just close this one out. They have 80 seconds where they can be aggressive. See there, this game, Matu's net worth has just flatlined at this certain point. Yeah. No space for him to get out on the map with Secret's constant movements. GH has his eyes on Yapsor. Getting some important information here for Liquid as Secret started getting to position to push up to the high ground once more. As Matu will lose the courier there, so that's a plate mail and Ray Fang gone, mid one's able to take that away so some yeah, pretty sizable items gone, and they'll get the nuke down onto the Indian, what's the, the BKB they've jumped in onto the back lines, they've managed to get the doom down there, onto the morphling Miracle, he turned into the doom he ends up getting doom, Winter's Curse will not save it, four dead on Liquid Yapso jumping in, there's the GG back off, this Ooh. game is over Secret will take game three the early game rotations from Secret this game were on point. Even though Yapso got slowed down, we were talking about how levels were a bit slowed down, they were making moves constantly, and it was just, it was really messing with Liquid's read of the game, because Wyvern got, what, level 6 at the 15?